Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Guess what I have this week? Well, this is a crazy, outrageous GMC Hummer EV. This is a truck version, there's also an SUV. And I still remember, many years ago, I had a chance to drive one of the very first H1 Hummer. That's the original Hummer that derived directly from a military. And it was so big that I had to always look for two parking spots in order to park that car. And I remember my wife sitting on the passenger side and I actually could not reach her because it's so wide. That thing was crazy as well and it got so much attention and brought the Hummer name to the forefront. And now many years later, General Motors have brought back the Hummer again, but this time in the full EV format, which is okay because I can't imagine driving this thing with a big V8 engine, it'll be a super gas guzzler. So it was a smart move to make a full EV. And even though that means that it is very different from the original Hummer H1 or H2 or H3, this thing is a, a class of its own. I, I think in this price range, which is sort of $150,000 to $200,000 Canadian, there are other uh, interesting competitors as well, including Rivian and Cybertruck. But for me, this is the most unique experience. I really enjoy driving this, not just because you can take the rooftop and drive it like a Jeep, but also it's got some unique features like a crab walk where it's kind of able to move sideways. And of course, this is a pickup truck, so it's also quite practical. There's nothing else out there quite like this. So what I'm going to do in terms of this review is what I call a SWOT analysis, which is a traditional business tool that we have used for many years, and it stands for strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat. So let me go through a SWOT analysis of this 2024 Hummer EV. Let's go. Welcome back. By the way, did you know that even Toyota tried to copy the Hummer by introducing a car called the Mega Cruiser, which was sold in very few numbers. It's highly sought after, it's very expensive. It's kind of like a collector's uh, vehicle now, uh, but they tried to copy Hummer because the Hummer itself was so unique in the market and everyone was kind of admiring and being inspired by this really unique model. So many years later, here we are in 2024, we have the electric version of Hummer and it has many, many strengths. So I'm going to go through, as I mentioned earlier, a SWOT analysis, which is a business tool to talk about the strength of this vehicle, the weaknesses of this vehicle, the opportunities that it has, and the threats against it. So those are the four letters, SWOT. So right off the bat, look at the strength of this one. And one of the strengths might surprise you because this thing is actually quite well made. So for example, I'm doing my usual a gap check and here we are, it's only three millimeters here and 3.3 millimeters. So it's pretty even here. And the doors are also three millimeter and 3.1 and three millimeters. So that's surprisingly good because not only are the gaps really narrow, but it's also very consistent. Everything lines up maybe a little bit off here, but otherwise the panel fit and panel alignments are excellent. In fact, at three millimeters, it's as good as some of the cars that are coming out of the Lexus plant in Tahara. So that's surprising. The paint job, of course, is a little bit hard to um, gauge because of the fact that this is a matte paint, but in terms of the quality of paint, it's very evenly applied and it looks really good for a matte paint because it's really hard to get this right. Uh, but even the charging port here, it's all lined up perfectly and the variety of different plastic components that you can see. It looks really good, nothing is out of place, and the quality of the parts looks fantastic. So the manufacturing quality is one of the strengths for this particular model. Uh, so far, it looks pretty good, at least in terms of exterior. But aside from the quality, there are many other strengths of the Hummer EV. Well, you can get almost uh, up to 1,000 horsepower, depending on which configuration. You can get some unique features like a crab walk where the vehicle can kind of slide sideways or kind of semi sideways, uh, as well as a good range over 600 kilometers. And the design, of course, is really unique, uh, but you still get a pickup bed. So this one has a five foot bed in the back, super wide, nice and tall, but you can get a, a SUV version as well. And of course, this one also, as I mentioned earlier, can function a little bit like a Jeep a Wrangler because the roof actually comes off. All four panels can come off. They're a little bit heavy and awkward, but once you take it off, it's like a convertible. And even though the doors don't come off, it's quite an interesting experience with the infinity roof taken off. So it's really unique that way. But most of all, this is a bragging rights. This is a vehicle that you buy when you have money to spare and you've owned many different vehicles, but you wanted one vehicle to stand out and be very different in the market. Another strength, another surprising thing about this EV 
is a zero to 60 can be achieved in just uh, kind of three and a half seconds or so. That's outrageously fast for a huge SUV like this. And it's a real testimonial to how GM engineered this vehicle to provide the maximum performance while retaining a really good range. So there are many reasons to love the Hummer, not just because of the design, the unique position in the industry, but also just because it's actually a really good SUV slash pickup truck. It's able to perform like no other pickup trucks. And this thing is actually surprisingly agile for a large SUV, partly thanks to the crab walk feature where I can kind of go sideways or semi sideways. And it's quite practical because it's also roomy. So there are many strengths of the Hummer, mainly because General Motors engineers spent enormous amount of time designing and developing this. I mean, just look at the, uh, the tow hook. This is crazy heavy duty. But there are also many weaknesses of this Hummer. And a lot of it has to do with the size. It's just a very, very large SUV. It's also wide, it's also tall. Although surprisingly, it fits into our underground parking at the office. So it's not as tall as it looks, but it is definitely not for city dwellers who may need to park this in tight parking spaces. This thing is long, wide, but most of all, really tall. So you gotta really step into it. And so even with the actual running board, it's quite a step up. You can see how much higher it is than normal SUVs and pickup trucks. So I'm basically at the city bus height when I'm driving this thing. So I think that's something to keep in mind. It's also just not for everyone just because it's so expensive as well. Uh, almost $200,000 Canadian here. Base price is in the mid $150,000 range. And so depending on how you want to compare this, you know, it's about the same price as a Rivian and also Cybertruck, but quite a bit more expensive than other pickup trucks you can buy in the market. So do you really need a Hummer? That's maybe the big question. It just may be a little bit too expensive and too big for most of you, even if you really like the concept of a Hummer EV pickup truck. Other things to keep in mind is that because it has a large 35 inch mud tires, it's a little bit rough in terms of ride uh, and it therefore it's not for everyone. If you want the smoothest, most refined pickup truck or SUV type vehicle, this is probably not for you. And also just overall, it feels a little bit like a prototype in the sense that the NVH or noise vibrations, harshness can be improved. It's quiet because it's EV, but it just feels a little bit rough around the edges, even though it's been around for a couple of years. So those are some of the weaknesses I wanted to point out. So I'm inside the Hummer now and I will admit the design is really cool inside as well. Very futuristic looking, a combination of bronze finish with black and some of the white as well here. So it looks really amazing. Also surprisingly practical with lots of space for storage and so forth. And as I mentioned earlier, this infinity roof comes off, all four panels can come off, providing basic a comfortable experience. But what is the opportunity for Hummer? And what I mean by that is, what could GM do with the Hummer brand? The first thought like that came to my mind is the fact that the Hummer brand has so much weight and has so much reputation that they can really turn this into an amazing brand, much the same way the Stellantis was able to do with the Jeep brand. But having this expensive large SUV and pickup truck right off the bat meant that most of us can never afford a Hummer and probably wouldn't consider one. So the opportunity for General Motors and GMC maybe in the future is to create something more affordable, something smaller, something in a sort of a 80 to $100,000 range instead of upper $100,000 range, because then potentially some of us can afford to buy this down the road. And that will really elevate the Hummer brand in much the same way Jeep was able to do with their products. So even though Hummer and Jeep are not direct competitors, I actually really think that the Hummer brand can have a huge potential in the future if they massage it correctly and they have a proper vision for this. So that's something that I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the brand because everyone knows Hummer brand, but right now no one can afford it. So, so far I covered the strength, the weaknesses, opportunities, and now I'm going to talk about the threat. Threat means what could derail or make this brand or this product obsolete in the future. Well, the biggest threat is the fact that this is again, too expensive and too big for most people, which means that this is a truly niche product. And so the volume is very small. And whenever the volume is small, then big corporation can look at it and say, hey, it's not profitable. We shouldn't have this brand or have this product. So that's the biggest threat. What if the Hummer brand goes away again 
because not enough people are buying it. And it's especially difficult because it's only in EV format or fully electric format. And that market is also slowing down, making it difficult to convince people to buy a large, expensive EVs like this one. And so as I mentioned earlier in the opportunities section, if they can come up with a smaller vehicle, a little bit more affordable, maybe even a hybrid or gas powered Hummer, then the appeal will be much bigger and you can potentially mitigate the risk associated with just having large pickup truck and SUVs that's all EVs. So I think the threats are very legit in the sense that this brand can go away again and I'm really hoping that's not the case because GM has invested so much money to resurrect this brand to bring this to life and I don't want to see go away. So I hope that General Motors is lessening and in the future they will expand this brand and give us a type of vehicle that we can afford to buy because then it will be able to mitigate some of those threats and become successful. So at the end of the day, what do I really think of the Hummer? Well, first of all, I love the brand because it's unique. It doesn't really compete with anything else. And the capability of this EV is quite fantastic. It's able to do some true off-roading. It's got front and rear lockers. It's got super high ground clearance. It's able to go up and down through the air suspension. And the power is astonishing and torque is even more impressive. So there's lots of reasons to love the Hummer and it might even become a collectible down the road because it's a niche product and there's not too many of them around. But the biggest question is, could this brand actually survive not just the next few years, but five, 10, 20 years down the road? And that's something that we just won't know because this is a niche product. It's still very expensive right now, but I know for sure that GMC will introduce different versions of the Hummer and therefore the brand should have a very bright future. But that's only possible if they can shrink the size and give us something more affordable uh, because then the rest of us can actually maybe own this piece of unique machine uh, because Hummer is unique and it's really fun to experience these things. So I was kind of smiling this entire week as I drive this because it brought back some memories of the H1 Hummer that I drove way back. But also just because this thing is fun to drive around in town. Everyone looks at it, everyone gives me a thumbs up. It's a really cool vehicle. So I just jumped back into Hummer, but I wanted to just finish off by saying that uh, my hat's off to General Motors for even bringing this back and designing something quite phenomenal and very interesting because none of us would have expected GM to bring back Hummer, especially when it died so many years ago. So I'm really excited about the future of Hummer, especially if they can introduce new products that are more affordable so that the rest of us can maybe enjoy the experience of owning a Hummer because that's a really cool thing to be able to do. So if you enjoy my video, please give me a thumbs up and make some comments if you haven't done so yet. And if you can subscribe, that would be truly appreciated. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.